Hey guys, Pat again from Small Room Productions. As always, hope you guys have another great day. Hope your music's going well. Today we're going to check out Menace. I posted a video, just uh, one of my songs that I wrote. I decided to use it on there. Um, I decided now I wanted to go ahead and actually talk about the plugin, let you know what I think about it. Um, it's an awesome plugin, straight down to it. Um, it's definitely legit. If you guys are considering getting it, I would. I think right now. It's about $65, maybe $75, so in comparison to maybe some of the uh, other amp simulator um, plugins that are out there, this is definitely uh, worth the money. I mean, you know, Joey Sturgis, he's you know definitely been working hard on making some plugins that you can use and stuff like that. This has probably been the most anticipated one, so um, I think we're all happy to see this. Um, so the idea around this, uh, this plugin is that it should be an all-in-one um, metal amp simulator where you can get your entire tone using just this one plugin not really having to use any other uh, plugins like EQ compression and stuff like that and though I agree it is definitely a workhorse and uh, it can do a lot of those things um, sometimes uh, you you either might need to or as an option um, just you have the flexibility of using it with other plugins if you wanted to so I'll explain what I mean in a, in a second. So getting right into it, let's go ahead and just go into the breakdown of the uh, of the uh, plugin itself. So right here we have the head of the amplifier. Uh, pretty simple stuff. I mean, I, if you've ever used a amp before or an amp simulator, this is all going to be familiar to you. Gain, bass, mid, treble, presence, output. Um, you got your overdrive pedal here. Um, you have your drive, tone, gain. So one thing that uh, Joey Sturge has said is with this uh, with this plugin, you can definitely get a lot of gain out of it. I can definitely agree with that. Maybe it's just me as a preference. Maybe it's a little bit more gain than I like to, but at least it gives you that flexibility to be able to use as much as you want. So that's kind of nice. You have the gain knob here and the gain over here. So um, this I know is supposed to be emulating a tube screamer. Um, it's kind of interesting because though it's emulating it, it has its own it has its own sound so it, though it's emulating you're kinda having it, it's kind of its own thing that nothing else can replicate so it's kind of nice what I mean by that when you go back and forth from the tone knob it doesn't sound exactly like the other tube screamers that I've used in other amp, amp simulators that's the best way I can really describe it so but um, definitely useful you can go ahead and turn it on and off uh, if you wanted to in this case for this song that I use I decided to leave it on um, over here Going down the signal path, we also have the cabs here. You have uh, your choice of different microphones that you can have on the cab. Um, standard, by default, it always has the condenser uh, U87 microphone. Um, sounds pretty good. Yeah, I, I like it. My, I think, I mean, they all sound pretty good, but I also like the 421. I just feel like the 421 on any amp simulation always gave a little bit more of a, a deeper grungier sound and I kind of liked it but in this case I went with the condenser um, you also have your uh, equalizer right here and then you have your uh, compressor slash limiter that you can use as well uh, I use the compressor in this song for the EQ I didn't use it um, the other thing as well is uh, like I was saying before some people when they get amp simulators they have this problem of the guitar sounding a bit too harsh or digital, I guess that's the best way to describe it. So what a lot of people will do, will go ahead and just use maybe the overdrive pedal and then the amp head and then bypass everything else and use an impulse response, which if you watch my other video where it was just uh, the song playthrough, that's what I did on the main guitars and stuff, just to see what it was like, because that was something I was more used to. But today I decided to uh, you know, limit myself only using this plugin to see what kind of tone I can get. But Back to what I was saying, if you want to turn any of this stuff off, you just double click it. Now, like I said, um, if you turn off the cab, it's going to turn off all of these, but you can, anything after that in the signal chain, you can pretty much turn on and off. The amp head doesn't turn off, obviously, because you need that. That's the whole point of having the plug-in. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what I wanted to do is also play a different track from what I was playing in the other one. The reason why is because the other track, again, I was using an impulse response, and I wanted to make sure that I used only this plugin on the guitars. So I have four guitars here, uh, two rhythms left, right, and then two leads kind of playing at the same time, playing their own thing. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and play the track, that way you can hear it. Let me go ahead and do this. So this top 
version of Menace is going to be for the rhythm, and it's duplicated for both sides. And then I'm also going to have another instance of Menace that I have for the leads as well that are identical as well. They're just panned differently. So um, that way you can just kind of see the differences. There are some differences, minute, but uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty close. I mean, they can't actually know they're kind of different. I can't even say they're close. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and play the song, and that way you can hear what it sounds like uh, all together with the music. So, yeah, that track, pretty much your typical, I guess, rock metalcore kind of track. I don't know. When I was writing it, I just went with whatever sounded good. But, so, now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go ahead and just solo the track so that way you can hear what it sounds like. So, these are going to be the rhythm. I'm going to play from that first breakdown area. So... Pretty standard, you know, uh, rhythm sound. It's pretty good as far as a metal tone goes. Um, I, I definitely like it. I was really surprised for just using an amp simulator, the sound that I can get. Um, in comparison to amplitude, um, I mean, I feel you can get a good sound out of both of them. This one I kind of like. Maybe it's just me. I haven't actually done specs yet, but I'm going to probably go ahead and do a video on this well, is to see which one uses more CPU power. So far, it seems like Menace has been very kind to my computer. It hasn't really been draining too much power. So it's kind of nice to be able to know I have four instances of this plugin, and it's not going to be, you know, crashing my uh, computer, as where some amps in, they can be a little bit more demanding and more taxing on the computer. So um, now let me go ahead and just go over to the lead. I'm going to go ahead and unsettle these other tracks so that we can hear them. Pretty good stuff, pretty simple, and then all of them together. Yeah, and just, uh, you know, spending a little time on the different tones and stuff, uh, with your panning and stuff, everything's pretty audible, and I like it, I like it a lot. So, um, I, I mean, final opinion on this, I definitely recommend that you guys should get it. It's an awesome plugin. Um, I mean, for the price that it is, that's the one thing I've been really happy about when I've been like looking for new plugins lately. Is that finding really good plugins on a really inexpensive price? The other thing is, again, it's Joey Sturgis, so a lot of people really try to emulate his tone, and here he is giving you a plugin that he is now swearing to that he uses for whenever he records this band. So. You have the tools now. It's at a very uh, affordable price. Um, I highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So anyways, um, stay tuned for other videos. By the way, if you like the way how the drums sound on this video, um, that is my own personal uh, contact kit that I created. I'm only selling it for 10 bucks, trying to keep it inexpensive for you guys. Um, it's a great kit. Um, we recorded it in a 10,000 square foot studio. Have probably, pff, I don't know, over thirty, maybe forty thousand dollars worth of microphones, preamps, just all this awesome equipment. It's a dark horse percussion kit. So, if you want to go ahead and get a pretty uh, awesome sounding kit for not too much money, you can also check that out as well. I'll put a link in the descri uh, description. Besides that, you all have a great day, and uh, see you at the next video.